All right, there we go. Don't know why the whole screen just suddenly exploded like that, but it seems like we got it sorted. That was rather annoying, to be fair. But, anyway, it's fixed now. So, as you can see, we're here with Enemud Risks. I think that's how you say that. So, it's a visual novel. I'm not too sure how long it's going to be. But, if it's too short, then we just find the one and continue with the stream. Let me said, though, let's kick the start and see what we can get ourselves into here. Yeah. Phone. Phone. Where'd I stick it? I sit up, rubbing the sleep from my eyes. It's too early for this. Where did you go? Grabbing my phone from the floor, I pull it off the charger and punch in the passcode. I don't even have to unlock it to know what these texts are. No one texts me in the first place. But even if, even if they did, it would never be this early. Another text pops up across the screen as my phone vibrates in my hand, and I tap it, opening the streams of texts from both of my parents. It's the unusual things I don't want to answer. What are my grades? How, how many classes am I taking? There's only one right answer, and it isn't the truth. Though even the right answer isn't the answer that he wants, not that I've ever managed to figure out what exactly that is. I didn't keep dodging their questions like I have been. I mean, I can, but it's going to get me into trouble. Which feels a little pathetic. I'm an adult now, aren't I? Or I'm supposed to be, though I don't feel like one. It's not like I've been treated like one either. I sent back a quick good morning, hoping that gets them to stop for a minute so I can back read and make sure I'm not missing anything that I'll explain about later, no complain about later. I don't see anything new, so I start typing out typing a reply to them. Twelve meaty credit credit hours, and no, I don't know my grades. I don't know don't know them to midterms and finals. I'm not sure if it's a blessing or a curse, but my professors want up, update grades on a more frequent basis. On one hand, I'm not obsessing from week to week. On the other, I have no idea from week to week. I had in the final note that I'm going to be in classes all day and that I love them before muting my text notifications. I put my phone face down on the bed for a moment, getting up for the day. It's before my alarm would, would have gone off, but I might as well get out of bed. I can get some more studying maybe. Something, something so I don't feel like 12 hours of class isn't enough. Okay. That was loud. <laughs> oh, oh, they posted a new story in their Instagram. There are way, way too many terms for all this, all the things in the human body. I'm pretty good at memorization, but this is too much. I can feel my eyes glazing over. Where is this? Looks like an old house, maybe. Yeah, but where? Why do you have to talk about this now? It's so distracting. I guess it's my fault for finding it interesting enough to be distracted. Hmm. Well, it's not on campus. No shit, Sherlock. If you had any abandoned churches on campus, people would have been would have had drunken parties in it by now. It's not something I could do. Exploring abandoned buildings like these people do. If my parents didn't kill me. I think I would probably get myself hurt, and then my parents would kill me. <laughs> so the same end result is reckless and stupid. Do you want to see if we can find it after class? I feel like it's bad to talk about that right, right this minute. I don't have any time anyway. These muscle terms ain't gonna memorize themselves. Class starts in about 10 minutes. I'll focus on this until then. The stool squeaks across the floor, snapping me at my concentration. Hey, you're early. Usually Finn slides in right before the professor shuts the door. Oh, I haven't been I haven't been to sleep yet. I look at my watch. How long have you been awake? Uh, 
about 22 hours now, maybe. <laughs> I sleep after this. I don't want to miss. I don't really know what to do with this information. Is he telling me he usually oversleeps? And that's why he's almost late to class? Why is he up all night? I don't have a chance to inquire before the professor shows up. So I decided I will take notes from him, or for him. He's pretty nice. I like him. Usually having, usually, having to have a partner or do any kind of group work is Lee's favourite thing. Usually, my parents never do their part. My partners never do their part. Um, or they do so badly, I end up redoing it anyway. It isn't bad though. He keeps up the material for the most part, and it's easy to get along with. He's only a little strange. I can't imagine having a wardrobe full of nothing but black clothes. But I've never seen him wear a colour. Honestly, I wouldn't have paid him much attention if he hadn't ended up accidentally lab partners. But I can't say I have any complaints. I still the glance at him as the professor begins his lecture, and Finn looks like he's already fading. I think he might be better off skipping class. Not that I've ever come to a class on a little on a little too little sleep. I don't think I have the capability to skip class. I hate that my stomach drops at the thought though. I hate the thought of looking at my phone later. Like I expected, Finn fell asleep a few minutes into class, and still is a, and is still asleep actually. I'm not sure if it's the professor didn't notice or that he didn't care, or maybe he did and Finn's going to get a docs for it later. All the more reason I'm glad I took extra thorough notes, though this isn't quite legible yet. I gave him a careful shake, hoping that isn't rude. I feel like it would be worse not to wake him up though. He said he was sleeping after this, but he should do that in the bed. <laughs> hmm? He vaguely stirs, and I find myself thinking that he's kinda cute. Long, eyes, long eyelashes, and what looks like some smudged eyeliner. I don't think it's occurred to me before college that guys wear makeup winningly, but he does, and it looks nice. I shouldn't be staring. I give him another shake, and his eyes finally open. He sits up, blinking bleely and rubbing his eyes. That wasn't supposed to happen, ugh. But I took notes for you, so it could be worse. I would probably need you to rewrite them, and it probably I would probably need to rewrite them for you. I show him my notes, and he looks over them, blinking the sleep from his eyes before he starts laughing. I really appreciate the thought, but I think you're right. Is this even English? He should be... It's the only language I know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe you lock something in your subconscious. I can't help but laugh a little bit at that, tucking my notepad away. That's absurd. I could type these up and email them to you if that works. It does. I appreciate it. It's not a problem, I was going to type them up anyway. Anyway, I have another class to get to. See you. Checking my watch, I probably shouldn't have dawdled. But more than that, I think I shouldn't have scheduled my classes quite so close together. By the time I get back to my apartment, I find there's too many texts again. I really don't know what- I really don't want to read them. But I do, because what else am I going to do? Ignore them? That would go over well, I'm sure. Reading of them properly, I feel pretty bad. I should have kept up my course load and powered through it. Now it's bold of them to think that I'm doing anything is that extra I don't know, or romantic, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Last time I had a boyfriend, I think I was 14. We need not like it when they're mad at me though. I take a breath and then hope and then type out an apology. I make it up to them next term. They're paying for my classes, so it's the least I can do. I don't want to disappoint them. Tonight, Finn's like, Finn looks more awake than he did in the class before. Which is good, because we need to get this lab report done. And I could do it myself, but I don't particularly want to. Aside from that, this is one of my few chances to socialise at all. I like Finn well enough, and I'd like to get to know him better. He's pretty reserved though. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard, ever heard him mention a hobby or anything that, that he's into. We really only talk about stuff for class, which doesn't say much about anyone. 
I feel like I've forgotten how to talk to people, though. How do you talk to someone about something that isn't schoolwork? Hmm. Do you have any plans after this? That's a start, I guess. Finn stops, Finn stops what he's doing for a moment and shrugs. Nothing in particular, do you? I thought all you did was study. Not all the time. Just most of the time. Harvey feels a little offended that he's making fun of me, but he's smiling. I think maybe he doesn't mean it in the mean way. Besides, it's not like he's wrong. <laughs> Can't get mad at the truth. I do other things. Like? I like to try my hand at music. Uh... Composion sometimes on the computer. Reading too. Walks are nice if the weather's good. I like walking around the part of town with all the old houses. It's so much more interesting, uh, so much more interesting than anything built nowadays. They have a lot more personality to them. What about you? He's quiet for a moment, finishing up the question, finishing up the question we were working on before answering. I do a lot of outdoor stuff, I guess. I used to do rock climbing. This is not what I expected from someone that looks like this. <laughs> Is there a reason you're asking? Or the reason you're staring? Oh. Oh, I just... I didn't take you to the time to do a lot of physical stuff. What did you expect? That I haunted campus? Looking for my next victim? <laughs> no. Not quite that dramatic. That's closer to what I was imagining. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you, like, stayed in more. He laughs and shakes his head. Nah, I like being outside. During the day? Sure. But not without SPF 100 sunscreen. Oh. That explains how we can be outdoor person and still be this pale. Do you know how to answer the next question? Um, let's see. It didn't seem interested in telling me anything else. So folks don't get the lab report done. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's nice. There's something sad about how much uh, stimulation I can get out of this lab report with him. It takes me a moment to realise I'm hearing beyond the music from my headphones. My studying and focus, focus break broken down. The screen of my phone says it's mum. I wonder what she wants. It's the same as always. Any time they ask me what I'm doing, it's never because they want to know what I'm up to. I lean back in the chair and type out a reply to them. Letting them know I'm studying. Another text comes through, and this one's a little bit different than, not, than usual. What am I doing on the weekend? I don't know. Is she worried about me? Both my parents are always worried about me, technically, but not in a way that feels particularly loving. I tell her I don't have plans. See where that gets me. The type of notification appears on my screen after I send it. I hope you blocked in time for studying. Really? My hand hurts. Shaking my head, I stop squeezing my phone in the death grip and turn it off. I don't ever do enough, do I? If it's not studying, then there's no point then there's no point to anything like that I do. They haven't asked me about friends since I told him I didn't have any. Months ago. I don't know what to do. I know they love me. What does that even mean? Do they care about me? Or do they just care about my success? I can't tell. I've never been able to. I turn off my phone, I drop it on the floor. They're never going to be happy with me. Shocking no one, least of all myself, I spent my weekend sleeping and studying. Not that I ever had anyone to shock. But it's fine, I'm going to do great on this test. And then, studying some more. It never ends. Look, look. In front of me, a couple of my classmates are excited about something. How did they get so high up? I don't know. I think this is the old cathedral, you know? The one you pass on the highway if you're coming in from the north side of campus. No, that can't be. Group's the wrong colour. Hmm. I wonder who runs it. They have to be pretty fearless to get on top of the roof, right? Or stupid. 
Both? Both. <laughs> Probably someone on the football team or something like that. I watch these videos on YouTube. It takes a ton of work to get up to some of these places. Mate, um, excuse me. Huh? What is it? This is the most important thing I've done. What well, I've done in who knows how long. Okay. I can feel myself losing my resolve already. But no, I won't. What, uh, what are you, what are you talking about exactly? With the old cathedral? Oh, there's some Erdix group that goes to school here. They post a lot of photos and videos to their Instagram account. Yeah, see? Like this. They show me the photo of a steedily inclined roof with dark shingles, barely visible in the darkness. The sky is a sea of stars. Even just looking at a picture of it, I feel breathless. See? You get it. It's cool, right? Super cool. Look at these. They show me more of the photos. Some of the building. Some of them in the buildings that really don't look like don't look safe. One that has a vague, partial shape of a person in it with a mask of some sort. There's some sort of cult. <laughs> the caption it says, "What's with the spooky mask?" For those of you watching at home, we're in an old place with a potential aspitos. I don't know problem. I'd like to escape here with some cool pictures. Not lung cancer, thanks. So this place was built in the 1900s probably. It was used in construction for a long time. Each photo they, sh they show, they show me feels like a frozen piece of time. A uh, place with old medical files, places of nature has taken over again. It's amazing. Yeah, wow. I'm definitely going to follow them. The professor walks in then, so I'll quickly take my classmate and go back to my desk. Quickly searching up the account. I hit the follow button without thinking too hard about it before reading their bio. Feeling adventurous, come find us. I feel jittery, excited. My nerves are flooded with excited energy. For the first time, I barely focus on my notes, and I barely hear the homework assigned. I'm going to find these places. I was good, but did some studying over the weekend, a little. Not much though. Usually, that would stress me out. But right now, I can't bring myself to care. I spent most of the time digging through the Instagram account of these Urb Urbex people, going all the way back to the first post to see if I could figure out where these pictures got from. There's factories, an abandoned mall, an old theme park, a lot of old houses, abandoned hospitals. Some of the hospitals have been patient files, which I can help but wonder is that H-I-P-A-A violation? I can't stop thinking about this. I can't think of a single time in my life I've been this fixated on something. Alex, are you there? I jump startled back to my senses. Studying, I'm uh, studying. I'm studying with Finn. Or I'm supposed to be anyway. So, sorry, I spaced out. Ha! <laughs> Crap, that's embarrassing. I pull up my phone and pull up the account. I feel the need to justify myself. Maybe he will understand. How can he see all this stuff and not be interested? I was thinking about this. I have been all weekend. I show him the account and it immediately stiffens. That kind of thing is really dangerous. Oh? I haven't done it. Some of the guys at the gym were used where well, I used to uh, wall climb. It's fine it's fine to look, but it's dangerous. Oh shit, you shouldn't do it. Somehow I feel like a deflated balloon. But only for a moment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I like having a mystery to solve. So I wanna find out find out what at least one of these places is exactly. You'll get yourself killed. I would not. Why do you care anyway? I don't know. Logic tells me I should stop someone from running, running into an abandoned buildings. Seems like a questionable life choice. You'd be stupid to dig into it. I feel so tense, so agitated. I can take care of myself. I'm not a child, and I'm not stupid. But we're here to study. And they have been slacking on that. 
Taking a deep breath, I forced myself to calm down. Sorry for bringing it up. We should get back to this, right? Uh, yeah. The rest of the evening feels stiff, half intense, but we get through it. Back home, there's a nagging thought in the back of my head that I should study some more before I go to bed. But I don't want to do that. I pull up the Instagram account, looking over the photos again. This one said the dad is in the, is in the hospital, I think. Anyway. Sorry, I have a quick drink. <laughs> this one said they did is in the hospital, I think anyway. This like only one floor though. Usually they explored the whole building. So this made it must be the only level only level to this place. Hmm. I'll grab my laptop and open up my, my browser. There can't be that many abandoned in hospitals, right? In the end, there's a couple of small psychiatric wards nearish to here nearish hit here that were closed but not too torn but not torn down. I'm feeling excited again. I want to go and see these places. Oh shit's gonna be kicking down going down. Ugh. Sitting in my car, the first location was a bust. There was a giant there was a gate that was open. But the windows and doors were all locked. This is risky, but I'm not gonna be more reckless by trying to break and enter. This is illegal as is, but that would really be, really, that'd be really illegal. I really don't want to get arrested. My parents would flip. I might also get kicked out of school. If I get kicked out of school, then they have to go home. I'm not getting arrested. <laughs> because I'm not going to do anything stupid. Anything stupid uh? I'll be fine. I punch in the next address on my phone. The first location is the bust. I'm not giving up. Not yet, anyway. The drive to the next site is pretty painless. Boring. Your destination is on the left. I look to my left as I drive past, noticing the no, trespassing, no trespassing sign first. Maybe this is a bad idea. I change lanes, ready to get back to the highway and turn around. I feel kind of sad about it though. I see a supermarket parking lot and flip on my turn signal, turning way too hard into the lot and earning myself an annoyed honk for breaking out of nowhere. But really, whose fault is it that they were tailgating? I pull into a parking spot and turn off my car. Pulling up the map on my phone, it's only about a 10 minute walk back to the site. I came all the way out here. I'm going to l at least look. I get out, grab my backpack, and lock the car. Then I make a double sure I locked it. It bleep beeps at me, and I start my trek. Okay. Approaching the site, I notice the barbed wire wrapped around the top of the top of this six foot tall fence. Maybe I won't be able to get in. Circling around, there's no gate. I can get through, but there is a patch in the top top of the fence where the wire is broken. Looking up at it, I try to remember the last time I climbed the fence. Maybe when I was a little kid? I never even really did anything adventurous then either. <coughs> I grab the chain link, stick my foot in, and carefully pull myself up on the top of the fence. Take it slow. Don't get scratched. If I, if I have to get tonight's shot and it runs through my parents' insurance, they're going to know I was up to something. Very carefully, I get, to, I get my feet under me and hop down. Ouch. Note to self, don't do that again. I wait for the pain in my feet to, dissipa to dissipate, and then carefully stand up, walking over to the building. Enter through the door at the back, wincing as it creaks. I step inside, then the door closed behind me. The floors are covered in dust and dirt, and I've never seen, I've never been anywhere so quiet. Even if I'm the only one here, it feels criminal to let my foot, my footsteps make noise. I approach the front of the building, spotting old, water-damaged posters 
on the wall for group activities. On the front desk, there's files, old pens, a keyboard was left behind. You can almost believe this was ready for another day of work, another day of the treating patients. I take some pictures as I walk, carefully not to disturb anything. I feel like time stopped here long ago, I don't be belong as someone from the pre present. I walk down the next hallway, peeking into the rooms. There's still beds in them, some made up, str uh, some made, some stripped. Stubby wooden pencils lay on top of the ancient pads of paper. I wonder, when I became a nurse, if I'll ever end up working somewhere like this. What I read online said was this was a psychiatric ward for adults. But so much of it feels as child proofed. I understand why. It's strange and it's strange nonetheless. I don't know if I could work somewhere like somewhere like this actually. No one goes to the hospital because they want to. But especially no one comes to the place like this because they want to. Hey, is someone there? This is the police. Crap. Think, think, think. The rooms, the doors, they have locks. I quickly slip inside the closet room and care to close the door as quietly as possible. Pulling off, pulling off my backpack, I crawl under the bed and pull my backpack in, hugging it close to my body. I squeeze my eyes shut, heart thudding in my chest. I can't get caught, I can't get caught, I can't get caught. Footsteps. Hello? Is anyone here? I feel like all the air had left my lungs. I've never been this scared in my life. But I was focused on listening as the footsteps continue and then fade into the distance. I get louder again, passing the room I'm in, until I hear the sound of the door at the front door open and close. It's quiet again. I crawl out from under the bed, standing and putting my backpack on. I dust myself off and this time I'm much more careful about getting back out of here. There's surely a car still there, isn't it? Back in the car, I take a moment to sit there and catch my breath before pulling out my phone and opening a DM to the account. There's some text from my parents waiting. I'm not going to try and reply to these right now. Selecting the pictures, I send them all before locking my phone, tossing it on the passenger seat. It's easy enough to get back for home from here. Okay, so we'll need a coach straight away. The first time ever, Finn is there before me. I wave to him and then stop. I don't think I've ever seen him look like this either. As I take my seat, he doesn't acknowledge me. Instead, he's just messing with his phone. I wonder what's eating him. Class is hard to focus on, and it doesn't seem like Finn's focusing him much either. I don't think he's looked away from his phone for more than a minute. Okay, putting away my notepad, my pen. I need to talk to you. What? Uh, okay. He doesn't budge as the classroom empties out, and neither do I. This is... intimidating. What the hell are you doing? Excuse me? I saw the photos. What were you doing? Photos? Oh my god. He's the one that runs the account? It's your account? Is this what you meant about doing outdoor stuff? Look, yes. But that doesn't matter. Did you go by yourself? Have you done this before? I did. Are you stupid? I am not. I was fine. Do you realize how dangerous it is to mess around in abandoned buildings? You could have gotten yourself killed. But you're the one with the account that says come find us. That gets him to stop talking long enough for me to keep going. I didn't get hurt because I'm not stupid. I was careful. I didn't disturb anything. I didn't get hurt. We'll just leave out the part about almost getting caught by the police. Do you go by yourself? If he's being a hypocrite. Damn it. No, I don't. I'll go with a couple of friends. And if you're so concerned about what I'm doing, 
I take a breath. You should let me come with you. The way he's staring at me, I can't tell if he's mad, shocks, or just thinks I'm crazy. Maybe I am. We've been not having real conversations with anyone for months, maybe crazy. But after a moment, he sighs and rubs his face. Fine. I'll ask if you're okay with I'll ask if they're okay with it. I'd rather you come with us than go off on your own again. Oh. I think I didn't ex I think I didn't expect him to agree to this. I don't even know what to say. I'll text you. Uh yeah, that's fine. Cool. Don't go for exploring anything else in the meantime. I I won't. <coughs> my heart is flooding in my chest. I didn't know I could be this kind of person. You can always surprise themselves. I've been feeling weirdly anxious the past couple of days. I really, really didn't expect Finn to be involved with the account. I know I shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but what I did. Not that, not that I know what I expected from him, but it wasn't this. But he probably didn't expect this from me either. Looking at notifications on my screen, and for once, I don't feel stressed. I feel excited. It's not a number I have on my phone, but it says Finn. He texted me a couple of times before, but since I was just, it was just for study meetups, I never really bothered to add him to my accounts. I open the message, excitement bubbling with me as, as I read it over. He wants to meet at a coffee shop today. Do I have time? I close the text box that's open on my desk. I have time. I text back that I can meet that I can meet them and then what? I text back that I can meet them and then add Finn's number to my phone. I wonder what his friends are like. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Go and see. I'm a little early, I think. This place is cute and it smells nice. I walk up to the counter, looking over everything on the menu. Seems like mostly normal things that you can get at any coffee shop. The raspberry mocha sounds nice though. And they have milk alternatives. Can I get something started for you? Oh, um, can I have the raspberry mocha with, with almond milk? He writes in the flurry across the cup. You want whipped cream on that? No thank you. You got it. Can I get a name? Alex. He stops and blinks at me. Are you here to meet Finn by any chance? I am. Is this one of his friends? Nice to meet you. I'm Paxton. I'm on the clock right now, but I'll be able to join you guys soon. While I make your drink, you can go meet Zania, Zania? over there. He gestures for a pretty girl sitting at a table in the corner with her headphones on. Okay, um, what do I owe you? Don't worry about it, it's on the house. Bring it over in a few minutes. Oh, thank you. I stuffed the cash I had in my hand into the tip jar and walk over to the table. He gestured too. Oh, he, yeah, I read that wrong. The pretty girl, Xenia, notices me and looks up. Can I help you? Uh, I'm here to meet Finn, and um, Paxton said I should come over here. Oh, hey Alex, right? Is it sure for something? She softens immediately, pulling the headphones off and patting the seat next to her. Oh no, it's just Alex. My parents thought they were getting the boy, and they got me instead. I didn't like any of the feminine vari variations, so it's just Alex. Huh, cute. I can feel my cheeks get hot. Usually people don't think it's weird. She thinks it's cute. Is it cute? Anyway, Finn. Anyway, Finn will show up eventually. You probably overslept. Or you got distracted doing his eyeliner. You know how that goes. The way Zinia just moves on with the conversation snaps me out of my embarrassment. I think about how I think about how the most I've ever done is sloppy apply sloppy apply a little with a pencil. So no, I don't know. 
the day I saw him sleeping, it did look pretty good. Oh yeah. It's nice to meet you, by the way. Likewise. Her attention shifts to the phone as she scrolls. Don't leave me on red when you're late, asshole. She rolls her eyes and puts the phone on the table. So you went to that hospital by yourself? Yeah, I went to another one too, but it was locked up. I don't know how to pick locks. I'm glad you don't. If you got caught, you could have been charged with breaking and entering, on top of trespassing. Can't play dumb like you didn't know you were trespassing when you almost broke in after all. Uh, oh. That makes sense. I think Finn knows how to pick locks, but like seriously, don't do it. Though... She's burning holes into her phone now. Sometimes I can't help but think it might be as useful skills to have. Or when your idiot friends are incapable of being on time for anything. <laughs> I have decided that I would I am never going to piss off Xania. Ever. Hey! I jumped a bit as he takes the seat next to me across from Xania. Where did he come from? So what's your excuse? I was too comfortable to get up. You're an ass sometimes, you know that. You never miss a chance to remind me. I'll be worried except Finn doesn't seem at all put off by Xenia's irritation. He might even enjoy needling her. Xenia looks ready to say something else when Paxson sets down the mug in front of, in front of her. And the mug in front of me. Sorry about the wait. It's fine, thank you. Xenia doesn't say anything, but she's holding up the mug close to her face. It's just like she's in heaven. Paxson walks away again before returning a moment later with two more mugs. And it was a good move not to go on break until you showed up. I wasn't that late. Anyway, me being late isn't what the topic is. Maybe it should be. Nah, telling Alex about what we do is the way is way more exciting. I keep my mouth shut, and I wanted to get Zayna's get on Zayna's nerves by agreeing with Finn, and not wanted to get a third per get a third person of Finn's back about being late, even though he was pretty late. Besides, I don't want her long enough to do this stuff on her own again. I wasn't going to. Good. So where do we want to start? Hmm... The basic rules would be good, I guess. He jumps his fingers on the table for a moment before continuing. So generally, you don't actually break into places. The hospital you went to was unlocked, right? That's fine. But breaking and entering is a bad idea. I told her that already. It's never a bad reminder. What else? Oh, you know how at parks they always tell you take nothing but photos? Leave nothing but footprints. Same rule applies here. You want it to look like you were never there. You find cool stuff sometimes, but you leave it for the next ex explorers to find. That makes sense. I think taking photos is the best part, personally. There's something cool about capturing the process of urban decay on films. Or memory card. Seeing you last a bit at that. These days, yeah. I did really like seeing all the photos on your account. That's what really inspired me to get to go and try it for myself. By yourself. And I won't do it again. Lesson learned. Good. I'll stop bringing it up then. <laughs> Maybe. Really though, the idea is that if you get hurt or something goes wrong, someone can go and get help or call 911 for you. But speaking of 911, sometimes it runs to people when we're exploring. Sometimes they're cops. There've been cops more than once. Even so, don't run. Sometimes we've hidden. Sometimes we're just up front. We're just up front that we're exploring and taking pictures. But if you run, there's a good chance you're going to get hurt, or well, they're going to think you're doing something like vandalism. <coughs> we're only taking photos of that. Are you prepared for that kind of thing? 
Considering it almost gone to trouble once. Sure. Might as well. I'd rather not get arrested. We will see we will have to be careful. Cool. Let's get let's see. We're not taking her anywhere with that one again, right? Not now anyway. I need a mask for that, right? Yep, unless you want to cancel in 40 years. I can't say I do. Didn't think so. Anyway, that's the most that's most common in places that were that were built between the 30s and 50s. Right. Even though it wasn't banned until the late 70s. Yeah, we're gonna be taking you to more. Um come I don't know, places probably though. <laughs> It would be good to have gloves for that. I nod along. So far everything they're telling me makes sense, and it's making my heart race. The same kind of giddy excitement I felt exploring the hospital I went to before. This is so unlike me, but... I don't want to let this feeling go. You look awfully excited. I jump up a little bit, but well, I've always wanted to do this kind of thing like old architecture up close. Old buildings have always been kind of fascinated, have always kind of fascinated me. And seeing the psy psychiatric ward was also pretty cool. Really cool, honestly. It felt so timeless, like aside from the dust everywhere, you could imagine people coming in, coming in again. The old fires were there too, the beds were still there. I never seen anything like it before, never experienced anything like that before, and um... Um... Oh no, they're staring. I got way too excited. Yeah. I don't I don't make eye con eye contact with them until I f hear Finn chuck her beside me. It is cool, isn't it? I think you make a good addition to our little team. I feel my face flush from the compliment, my heart pounding in my chest. Meet us back here, say this Thursday, around 10 30 pm. Leave have to pack students off work. I can do that. Cool. Anyone want to tell her anything else? I'm curious to see what a newbie is made of. N newbie? Okay, now I'm embarrassed. Don't tease her so much, Xenia. If she's put off by this, she's gonna have a bad time. Uh, I'm not. I'm fine. I can handle a little teasing. Good. We'll see you Thursday then. It was good meeting you, by the way. It was good meeting you too. All of you. I'll see you Thursday. Alright, so we're, in the, we're fight officially in the group now then. I can't think of the last time I was excited about... Uh, I was this excited about anything. Okay. Let's have a quick survey. Just in case it crashes. Return? Yeah. Finn texted me this morning to let me know that I just needed a good pair of shoes for this. No visitor paid to require for this particular place, which is good, given I haven't had a chance to get one yet. It seems to be their regular thing to meet up with Paxson once he's done with his shift at the, coffee, at the cafe. I'm filled with nervous energy, but something else too. Once the front door of of, of the mansion opens, all that nervousness felt, uh, melts away into the pure, unadulterated excitement. Alright, so in the mansion. I don't know if that was already mentioned or not before this. We head inside, and I met with the same feeling as before, but also something new. Let's take a look around, shall we? I'm not lonely. Yeah, yeah. It feels nice to really be between people again, outside of class, outside of schoolwork. This is just something fun. Well, hopefully it will be. Do we want to split off into pairs? That sounds good to me. Personally, whoever comes comes with me is getting dragged into looking at, looking for any secret pathways. What about you two? Don't know yet. We'll see where the inspiration and my camera take me. I mostly just want to explore the house. Hmm. This would be a good chance to get to know them all a little better. 
Anyway, you want to go in particular? Any anywhere you want to go in particular, Alex? I'd like to explore the place with Paxton. Maybe I could help you, Finn. I want to see if there's any secret passageways. See if there's any hidden secrets. Oh, you have more than an appetite for excitement than I expected. I could say the same to you. Finn laughs easily at that. He has a point, though. I didn't think I had this much had this in me either. With that settled, we meet back here in half hour or so. Okay. We split into two groups, Paxton following, following after Xenia, while I go with Finn. Our pace is slow, and he periodically stops to examine the walls, his touch light and careful. Do you often find secret passage passages? Not often, but sometimes. It's often enough that it's worth looking every time. There's maintenance tunnels under the school, you know. Have you been in them? Yeah. With Zany and Paxton. We've only done it, it it the one time though. Pretty sure we're getting more trouble with the school that we couldn't talk our way out of with the police, you know? Hmm. Yeah. Wanna go sometime? I don't wanna get kicked out of school. My parents will have my head. You're not the only one. We'll just be extra careful. I'm not convinced now, but maybe I'd be more interested another time. Especially given I didn't ha I didn't think I'd be doing any of this in the first place. As we wander through the mansion, we end up in, end up in the storage room. While Finn looks around, my eyes fall on a gold frame with a sheet over it. What's this? I lift up the sheets carefully, revealing the paint of a man and a woman kissing. And a woman kissing. It has an unexpectedly calming atmosphere, despite the darkness of the storage room. Nice find. Oh, thank you. It's pretty. It is. Watch as he carefully leans the frame forward, examining the back back of it. What are you doing? See if there's any any potential title for this thing anywhere. Are they usually on the back? I found little paintings that ain't titled at all. But it's worth looking. Hmm. Le Le Comfort. Maybe. He sets the frame back in place, and we take a look around again. I wonder who painted it. And who the subjects are. Hmm. Well, it's down to in this dusty storage area, so maybe one of them got dumped after they painted this. That's depressing. Or maybe, or maybe one of them died. Hmm. You think this is why because you're a goth, or is this just because of who you are? Why not both? <laughs> I can't help but laugh a little at that. I like his sense of humour. What if he wasn't so miserable? Maybe the couple lived a long time. Happy life together, and just ended up down here after they passed. Since that sin involves dying, you're not really making this all better. It's less sad than one of them being alone. Hmm. You have a point. I do. <laughs> I dropped the sheet back over the painting. Should we start heading back? Sounds good. Alright, so we didn't find any secret passageways. Not yet, anyway. We'll meet back in the main area of the house and talk a little bit about what we found in the, our explorations before heading our separate ways. Back in my apartment, I fall into bed. I'm tired, but the first time in months, my eyes weren't burning. My back doesn't hurt. I don't close my eyes and see walls of text. The first time in months, I feel really, really happy. Well, that's good then. I got a text from Finn during class, inviting me to another site. I feel my face burn, and tap out, and tap out a quick reply. But I'd like to come before putting my phone away. Okay, I fucked that up. By this point, the professor is back to teaching, and I throw myself back into taking notes. It's hard to focus though, as I wonder what we're going to be doing tonight. Okay, we're back here. Finn texts me to address this time and meet at this site. The inside of this old hospital isn't exciting in and off itself, but it's bigger than the other two places we've been. This time I'm a little bit more prepared too, with a first aid kit tucked into my backpack. 
No one got hurt last time. We're better safe than sorry, right? Do you want to split up again? Sounds good to me. I like having a newbie around. We don't have to stick together quite so much. What? Do you not like hanging out with me, Zena? You're unbearable, and you know it. Finn laughs. It's a little difficult to pass their relationship. They seem to be okay. They kind of like how, how some old friends are with their siblings, I guess. Anyone in particular you want to go with, Alex? Oh, um... I'll stick with Finn. I kind of like his sense of humour, to be fair. Fine by me. He doesn't wait long. He doesn't wait long before he's already trekking down the hall, away from the others. Oh, wait up. Hmm? Oh. Right, sorry. He slows his steps until I'm at his side, and we continue our walk together. The place feels bigger on the inside. Yeah, it does. More than usual, anyway. More than usual? But I thought these abandoned places looked big on the inside, because so much of the cluster was gone. But this place is different. I don't really know what Finn is seeing. It's an abandoned, a bit um, dusty hospital to me. I wonder what the world is like in Finn's eyes. Anything in particular you're searching for? <laughs> if you ask me about what I'm searching for in life, the answer is no. If you ask me about a hospital, then the answer is... Also no. <laughs> Fair enough. It's mostly quiet between us, Ryban, after that. But I'm pretty entertained by Finn's eyes sweeping the entire place. Um... Meletically? I don't know. There's so many words I don't understand. He's serious about it in his own way. It's nice. I feel like we're in the cover, investigating or something. Do I have something on my face? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stare. So you were staring. It, it's not like that. Like what? I didn't say anything. I'm just, no I'm just, noticing, just noticing how you seem very focused. That's all. Hmm. I guess it might seem that way. He trails off, his focus returning to the numerous doors we pass. I wonder what he's, what he's looking what he's looking out for. This time. Huh? This time what? We didn't find anything last time. This time I know we will. Well, you really are excited today, and optimistic too. What are you, what are you going on about now? You seem determined, that's all. It's getting me excited too. You're the one who wanted to come. I'd hope you are. You know what I meant, Finn. He chuckles and rolls his eyes at me before focusing on the next door we come across. I can't pinpoint why, but it's, but it's built differently than the others. This one looks like it might have been interesting for you. Hmm, nice eye. I think you're right. Why did it shake like that then? Huh? Oh, is it locked? No way, I think it's stuck. Let me look at preferences here quick. Yeah, so there shouldn't be voice acting anyway, that's fine. He uses both hands this time, staring against the door that's not budging. Are you sure it's stuck? Should I help? No, it's fine. I can open the stuck door. No reason for you to hurt yourself. Ah, can't tell if he's trying to be nice or patronizing me. But if you think someone might get hurt, maybe we should get move on. He shakes his head way too fast. Uh-uh. Hold on. One more time. Um... Ah, oh, that made me jump. Ah. Finn? Whether the door was stuck or locked doesn't matter anymore. It falls with a crash to the floor, and Finn along with it. I rush over to him, past the snapped off door hinges that rolled under the kicked up dust and debris. Finn, are you okay? Uh. I move to help him, I move to help him sit up before I gasp and see red. Tingling above his shoulders on the broken door. Oh my god, Finn, you're hurt. 
Looks over to his shoulder and winces. Ah, oh, man. I like this shirt. Focus, Finn. H hold on. I bought my first kit aid kit. I bandaged you up. It's fine. I think the door got the worst of it than me. It's not fine. Who cares about the door when you're bleeding? I'm definitely panicking more now than Finn is. Isn't he worried about getting an infection? Finn sighs and shakes his head when I start pulling out the kit. Alex, I promise I'm okay. Sheesh. A little pain doesn't matter. I'm more annoyed about the damaged property than anything. Well, sure. But shouldn't we make sure you don't get infected or something? Don't want to get bandaged. I'd rather keep going. But your shoulder, Finn. I really insist. He chuckles and reaches for my head before pausing. Huh? What is it? Moves away from my head and instead takes my hand in his. Uh, um, blood. I follow his gaze to, s to see him turn my hand palm up. He's right. I got some of his blood in my hand where I helped him sit up. Oh, I didn't notice. Ben sighs and gently lets me go. A brief flash of guilt crushing his, crossing his face. Fine. What? Does he want me to bandage, bandage you? Sure. I don't really know why he changed his mind, but I'm grateful for it. It's one less thing to worry about. Good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I carefully blot away the blood and then spray the anti... antiseptic. It's not as bad as it initially looked. Thank goodness. Finn says nothing, gazing off into the distance and only flinching when I finally tighten the end of the gauze. It's not perfect, but it will hold. Oops, sorry, did that hurt? I'm done by the way. Looks down at his shoulder and flexes it before smiling back at me. Didn't hurt. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. He carefully takes my hand again, opening a wet tissue packet from the kit before, cleaning away the small spot of blood there. For a moment, he really he really does look like a vampire with the way he's fo focused on it. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks. Mm-hmm, let's go back. Right, I guess it's getting late. I'm sorry we didn't find anything cool. Finn doesn't look disappointed in the slightest. Much to my surprise, in fact, he just grins at me again. Nah, I think I saw plenty. Huh? He doesn't elaborate. I'm too... Ex I'm too expressorated to question him further. I don't know. We'll leave the broken door behind, and I wonder what... wonder what about it was so cool. What a weirdo. So we're at the hospital again. As most of them are enjoying these places, I think I'd be satisfied if I never see another hospital. The first one I went to was exciting, because I've never done anything like it before. The last one was fun, because exploring it with someone else. This one... Well, I already know what I want to do. I don't need to see the inside of this one again, because this is a tall building. Hey Finn. <laughs> What's on your mind? Want to go up to the roof with me? Uh, huh? Me? Yeah, you don't want to? I didn't say that. But sure. Alright, off to the roof. Then as we take the lead to the roof, which is a nice change of pace, I feel a bit giddy about the whole situation. Though it doesn't escape my notice that he keeps looking past me. Hey Finn, what are you looking at? Nothing. Yeah, right. The staircase to the roof is pretty sturdy, and it boosts my confidence when I see the door, a uh, door knob approaching. Watch the last step. I squint and see it. The last step has a, has a slightly different colour. I gingerly step on it, but it doesn't budge. It's safe. Ha. <laughs> is that what you were watching for? You were worried? Definitely didn't say that. Finn pounced and snapped his head away from my gaze. What's he so embarrassed about anyway? I didn't let it distract me for too long before I carefully pushed the door and step onto the roof. Wow. It's better than I thought it would be. The stairs are brilliant. The stairs are brilliant above. 
but so is the city below. It glisters beautifully, just like the sky, in the sea of a swirling na na uh, naives in gold. If one is merely reflecting the other, part of me wonders which is the original. Bim comes up behind me, but he looks like far less impressed. No danger whatsoever. Finn, that's what you're looking for? <coughs> I don't know if it's a laugh or cry, and Finn chuckles when he sees my expression. The view is... just okay. Just okay? I don't know why I'm so desperate to show him, but I wave my hand enthusiastically toward the sea to get him to look again. It's beautiful, Finn. We can see everything from here. I hesitate and pull my hand back, feeling as if the sea was, re was real and I caused a ripple across it. <laughs> it must have been the wind. It's just a bunch of stars, a bunch of lights. It is not. L look over there. I point to the left of the roof. See? If you really look, you can see there's so many different colours. There's even been a range of whites and yellow. Some are big and some are small. Isn't it beautiful? So many different lives at home. So many families having dinner. So maybe they're stuck late at work. Or maybe they're on dates. And there. See straight ahead. Maybe he's not convinced yet. But I can show him. There's a giant light right there in the centre. Where well, it's probably just an apartment or something, or something you know. Or maybe it's a party or a gathering and we can see it all from here. It's incredible. Could be a fire. <laughs> or a bonfire. Finn laughs at my counter suggestion which just fires me up even more. And um, it's so relaxing. You can sit back and realize you're not alone in the world, you know. The sky looks so beautiful and vast. And so does the city, except these lights are lives. So while the stars sometimes feel so far away, we know these city ones are right here with us. So optimistic, you just like him. Uh, what? Sorry, I'm not sure I caught that. You just like him? Did I hear that right? What does he mean by that? Uh, hey now. Fenny rushes to my side, helping steady me with a strong grip around my waist. I'm alright, I just tripped a little. You need to be careful up here, you could fall. Y yeah, noted. He stares at me a little longer before nodding and gently letting me go. He's not touching me anymore, but the warmth of Finn's hand still makes me feel... Um... So what were you saying? That you've convinced me. Really? Sure. The roof is fine, so... Will you sit with me? You want to stay? I knew he would see how beautiful this view was. Finn plops down and pats the spot next to him. We can stay a little longer if you want, as long as you stay away from the edge. <laughs> that won't be a problem. I carefully sit down and stare at the gorgeous sight. It's so great that we can see the sky clearly at all the pollution these days. It's a great night. Finn? Yeah, it's a beautiful night. I peek over to see him smiling, the stars, or perhaps the city lights, reflecting in his eyes. It takes my breath away. You know, if you like the stars so much, there are plenty of other rooftops to see them from. Are you offering to take me? He turns his head to look at me, still smiling. I am. Perhaps I'll take you up on that. I'm glad I've convinced you to enjoy the view. The view is still average. Hey! He laughs and lays back on the roof, using his arms as a headrest. In comparison to the others, I could show you, I mean. Oh, you could have said that in the first place, you know. But what would be the fun in that? I sigh and find myself deciding to lay down next to him. If the occasional gust of wind didn't pass by, I feel I could be able to sleep here. This is comfortable. A bit chilly though, after a while. Mm-hmm. Here. He scoots himself next to me until our bodies touch. 
I'm instantly warmer, both from his body heat and his kindness. Oh, f thank you. Mm hmm. <laughs> maybe, Finn's, maybe Finn means what he said about better views, because he's no longer looking, just staring at the same spot in the sky as if it holds a secret. He looks so peaceful. I try not to laugh seeing how his hair seems to blend in with the dark of the night and his jewelry glitters with stars of its own. I keep my amusing to myself, wondering how any view could be better than this one right now. <coughs> Sorry about that. The days pass as they normally do. Some slow, some way too fast. When the day comes, I should have been excited, expected it. But who can truly predict the end of the world? Oh no, it's happening. It's over for me, I just know it. Finn, you have to hold on. Bear me with my sunscreen so I can rest in peace. He can't give up before we even start at midterms. Oh please, you're just as, as anxious as I am. He's got me there. <laughs> That's not the point. We'll be fine in the end because... We've been studying so much, failure is not an option. I'll definitely lose it otherwise. Failure is not an option. Strong words from the woman who used to look like she was going to cry when she got a new text. Uh, hey, I never cried. I'm just stressed. I said looked like... Yeah, well, so did you a couple of minutes ago. Anyway, I have faith in us. I really think we'll be fine. Anxious and so trying to comfort me, like a living... Try... Try a toe fan? I don't know. No clue what the hell that said. I'm losing him. Quick, a distraction. Hey Finn, wasn't that something you wanted to ask me before class? Huh? Oh, Alex. Uh, yes? Come home with me tonight. W what We can study together. You'll come, right? Oh, of course. That's what you meant. What? Yes, I'll come, sure. Great. I like it when we can... I like it when you come hang out with me, you know? W where is this coming from? Why am I being weird? Of course he's just talking about studying. Right? But if he didn't... What if it's kissing? Wait, do I want to kiss Finn? Since when do I have a crush on him? Finn chuckles and softly flicks my forehead, distracting me from whatever nonsense I was thinking about. Are you having a stroke or are you just practicing for a mime routine? Neither. <laughs> or maybe it's a bad thing you, you can make me happy. Oh, no, of course not. Definitely just want to study. Mostly, anyway. Uh-huh. Well, see you later, Dan. See ya. I need to calm down. It's just a little hard, and I keep thinking about him in the middle of my classes. Well, need to focus. <laughs> Jeez. It's quiet in the apartment now because of the midterms. I hope Finn isn't too stressed. Alex? Whoa. Hi. Come in, come in. He ushers me in and sits me down before I can even have a chance to really greet him. What's he being so friendly for? He was stressed just this morning. Oh, what's the smell? Something distractingly delicious gifts the air around the apartment. The oven kiss scent of rich chocolate and vanilla. Oh, I made cookies. They're vegan, so it should be fine, if you have a diet uh, restrictions or anything. That's so cute. They smell amazing. What kind of cookies are they? They smell good. Mm-hmm. That's strange though. We didn't smell them from the outside. I didn't. I only smelled them after I came in. I see. Why? Was I supposed to? No. It's, it's just, there's a neighbor who's always, who always seems to know when I'm cooking and baking. I figured he could smell it. Maybe he has a really strong sense of smell? I hope so. <laughs> hope so. 
I swear he knows before I even put them in the oven. Maybe I'm being watched. That'd be creepy. Yeah. Guess that means I shouldn't do anything incriminating with you. Uh, huh? Anyway, you can you can have as many cookies as you like. Don't matter to me. Really? Thanks. Hmm, the study session isn't starting quite what I expected. But it's nice to just talk like this. I eat a cat-shaped cookie as I lay on the textbooks and notes. There's so much to do. I wonder how long it would take to review everything. My focus goes in, and now when Finn sits beside me, I tell myself I'm checking up on him. But I'm really looking, really looking at his con concentrated face. We don't really talk at all. It's completely different from our usual sessions. Oh well. It's still nice to study together like this, even though my phone remains the ominous threat that is. Hours pass before I know it, when Finn suddenly groans and stretches. Finn? I think we've done enough for today. We've done all we could. Oh, I didn't realise it was so late already. Sorry. No, it's fine. I'm glad. Glad? Oh, uh, I just meant... Yes? It went well, right? The study sessions, I mean. What's gone into him? It did. Why? I kind of wanted to re redo them before work, before I yelled at you. Oh, when he snapped at me for using my phone when I was getting bombarded by my parents. Has he felt guilty about this the whole time? When did he shout at us? Thanks, Finn. It went great. Is that what the cookies were for? What? No. No. Ah, uh, but they are so cute. I was honoured you baked me cookies. I just happened to make them and you just happened to be here. Do you like baking cookies? Because I didn't see you eat a single one. Bacon is good for stress and stuff. Is that so? Does that mean I can join you for baking next time? Don't taunt. He says something quietly, I can't catch it. Huh? What was that? I said don't taunt. <laughs> Sorry. It's strange that I'm laughing even though he even though midterms are small. I cling to this feeling, hope to bring it up bring it with me when I go to bed so that I can still have it in the morning. It's so fucking hot in this room. <laughs> 24 degrees in here apparently. Ugh. You said it. I feel like a random marathon. I feel like I got attacked by the overworld forces without my trustworthy vampire steed. That's certainly one way to describe it. At least it's done. We crossed the finish line. You crossed it. I'm sure you defeated your enemy too. Maybe. We'll have to see our test scores. I'm so glad it's over. Which means it's time to get back to business. Are you talking about, you know, you're coming, right? Finn's light-hearted smile, smile brings my own, brightens my own. You seem geared up to our next trespassing adventure. It's kind of cute. Of course. Where to next? Not so loud. Come here. He leads me to the, cor the, the corner of the classroom and leans in. He's really close. You're making me nervous. Is it super dangerous or something? An amusement park. An actual abandoned amusement park? The kind with rides and cotton candy? Even better. Rusty tracks and funnel cake mold. <laughs> Gross. I'm just kidding. The most you can find is probably toxic waste. You're still joking, aren't you? Definitely. See you tonight. I'm coming. Finn's smile looks overly soft when he looks down at me. His hand pats my head um, affectionately and I can't help but feel some kind of puppy. <laughs> cool. C cool. He leaves first, leaving me too flustered for someone leaving me too flustered for someone who just we're just talking with a friend. 
I go home and make sure to grab shoes I shouldn't I wouldn't mind stepping in funnel cake mold with. What's funnel cake mold? I know what mold is. Not that one, the third latte. Uh picture down with the red cup. You think I'd look nice? Oh, you think he would look nice? That's supposed to be a dog. It's an elephant. I thought it was a rabbit. What's going on here? Oh yes, I can see that. It's the ears. You guys. Just when the world needed Alex the most, she vanished. Huh? Uh, no. I'm right here. Huh? How long have you been standing there? Alex. Not, not long. A minute or so. You all seemed so deep in your conversation that I didn't want to interrupt. That was not a real conversation. It was supposed to be. Anyway, ready to get started. As long as there's no toxic waste, as ready as I can be. What are you guys talking about? Alex was showing his latte art on the Some Girls Cafe page. Yeah, of a rabbit. It was definitely an elephant, you guys. You make like latte art, Paxton. It's just an interest. I work in the cafe, after all. It's been nice to see that your interests align, I suppose. Can I see this picture? I want to have a look. I have an interest that we can follow up right now. Anyway, we're all here, so good this way. Okay, Finn grabs, grabs my hand and starts running off before I have a chance to ask him his plans. I don't expect it either, but he, I don't expect it, but neither do Paxton nor Zania based on their shocked faces. For Finn? He just shoots me a small smile before slowing down as we approach a roller coaster. And here is where I want to start. <laughs> Let's go of my hand and looks up at the at the beginning of the tracks, spiralling and rusting like a beaten ancient nail from a world of giants. You want to climb these? Jeez, you didn't have to run. What the hell is this? Whoa, it's still standing. Are you serious, Finn? The tracks? Would I be here if I wasn't? I think I'll pass. I don't have the look stat for this. Yeah, I mean, whatever Paxton just said. And you, Alex? Well... Finn looks directly at me, determination in his gaze. I shouldn't leave him to go alone. I'll go with you, Finn. Knew I could count on you. Ah, <sighs> well, just be careful, you two. I want to check out the stalls. Yes. Yeah, um... Yes, we're gonna keep exploring here. On the ground. Away from the tracks. Okay, we'll see you soon. Finn leads the way, one step at a time, following the small sloped hills as we pass under the shadows of the tracks. He chooses the track part he chooses the track part that curves upwards into the spiraling as into the spiraling and we start climbing. It's thrilling. Is this what we're climbing? I do not know. I can always see how the stars of the night, of the night, cast that. Uh, what? A fair, the old sheen on the Ferris wheel that sits not so far away. But the view further up is going to be amazing if we make it there anyway. Yes, so we are climbing the Ferris wheel. <coughs> Keep coughing. I watch his back and hope to find it re find it reassuring. I can't help but notice how my steps are not as confident, and my hands are not as steady. These tracks don't look like they can carry bodies, let alone a spreading cart full of them. A speeding cart full of them. Am I nervous? Or excited? Ah. Ugh. My phone surprised me. I'm getting distracted. I need to be careful. What if I miss a step? Alex, are you okay? You yes, I'm fine. Finn stops at the top of the stops at the top of one of the flattered dips and turns to face me. What's with that concerned look? Hmm. If you say so. Pull yourself together, Alex. Here, take my hand. Let's climb this part together. Oh. Okay. 
I'm not sure this is exactly this will exactly help, but I guess it's fine. It's the second time he's taken my hand tonight, and it doesn't make me feel any less nervous. We climb the track slowly, even though my cold fingers keep shaking in his. One step, two step, three step, these gaps are sure are big. Huh? Why'd you stop? Alex. Yes? You're still, sa you're still shaking. It's dangerous if you slip and cut yourself here. It's really rusted. Oh, sorry, maybe it's just cold. Hmm. Hey Alex, come here. What? Ben's hands cover both of mine. It's not much warmer, but it's a start. But then he leans in. And kisses me. Hmm? What? Finn's mouth is like frosted uh, tulips against my own. Soft and gentle, yet bitten by cold. It's only his breath of heated sugar that sends warmth straight from my lips to my cheeks. I know it must have only been a moment, but it feels like a lifetime. He pulls away, and I don't know what to think, to think or feel. Huh. Huh? What was that for? What are you... You see your face right now, because you kissed me. <laughs> yeah, but at least you're not shaking anymore. What? Oh, he's right. I'm not. Come on, we're almost done with our climb. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's all I can manage to say as we finish the climb. Not that I remember it well, my mind is elsewhere, and I'm sitting in the days, even when we meet back with Xania and Paxton. As if nothing ever happened, but, what forget but who forgets a kiss like that, alone together under the stars? Maybe it was this plan all along. Don't freak out. I'm dropping out. Don't freak out, don't freak out, whatever you do. Don't you dare, your parents will kill you. But I failed my midterm, my life is over. We figure something out, we still have half the semester. A GPA? What's the point? Oh no 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 no, I'm freaking out. Just check the grade, you can do this. It's... at 90. This is the lowest grade I've ever gotten in a while. Ugh. Maybe I should be going out less and focusing on studying, but... I was so miserable then. Well, that 90 isn't really a bad grade, is it? I can work with this. Besides, if I went out less, my social life would never would be over. Okay, no more late night adventures and shenanigans with Zayna and Paxton and Finn. Finn, the last time we went out, he and I, we, ah, uh, I don't even know how to face him properly. Alex, ah, uh, the devil hears my thoughts. Alex, ah, uh, hello, Finn. I got my test scores back. I got a C. Oh no. Finn. I didn't think I was going to pass at all. Finn is positively beaming and I stare at him in shock, even as he pats my head again. So thanks to you, you're the best study partner ever. What? Uh, congratulations. You know what this means? We should celebrate. Celebrate? Find a new place for us. You're ready? Naturally. Are you busy tomorrow night? No, I'll come. See you later, lab partner. I'm a total idiot for being nervous around Finn. He's still patting me like a pet dog. Yeah, I'm the one being awkward. Maybe the kiss really didn't mean anything. Or maybe imagined it ever happening. Ugh, so frustrating. I push it to the back of my mind, but I hope I can forget it, ev e it ever even happens, and hope it doesn't reappear in my dreams. Alright, so back at the mansion. No way. I think I remember something so awkward. Go through the logs. I swear you uploaded a weird Halloween selfie. Look like goose face or whatever it's called. Why would I do something like that? Alex, tell Paxton he's imagining things. Oops, sorry, I zoned out. What's going on? 
Lady doesn't remember when she uploaded some blurry Halloween selfies to the group chat. Yeah, because it didn't happen. Pixel didn't happen, huh? I bet I can find it. Halloween selfie? Zinnia, you like to dress up? What? No, no, of course not. I used to get bored, that's all. Cute. I'd like to see it someday, honestly. I'd follow my picture account you had. What? I'd follow any picture account you had. Right, f thanks. Uh, anyway, where the world is Finn? The main doors to the mansion are always being. Uh, the main doors to the mansion bang before slowly opening. Once again, the devil somehow knows my thoughts. Finn's there, pushing off dust off his hands, and incredibly late. You were supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. Finn, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. Did you get lost? Nah. Well, what happened? The oven took much longer than I thought to clean. I had to wait. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> Let's go. Good idea. He shoots me a smile, completely oblivious to the death gl glare Xenia is shooting him. The place is so old that there's no avoiding the draft. It's like a chill is purposely weird, is purposely wired through. Just like we weren't the first ones here. Look at this graffiti. Well, this is near the university. It's so dusty. You think this place is really remote? I'm trying to look around, but it's hard to concentrate. Alex. Psst. Huh? Why are we whispering? He waves me over explanation. Pointing at the sturdiest looking stairs I've seen f thus far. We go up. Finn? Don't worry, he's sturdy. How can you tell? There was no sagging in the wood, and there are support beams under the stairs. Oh, really? We're here. Oh wow. We look out over the roof, so beautiful, even though it has holes. Gotta be careful with roofs. There's usually some. There's usually some of the first parts to go. You look and feel for look and feel for cracks and holes. Leaks are dead giveaway of damage. Huh. Noted. You're always giving me a good advice, Finn. Hmm. Hey, are you cold? Oh, it's fine. It's not. Finn, I'm okay, really. Just take it. Nah. He drapes his jacket gently over my shoulders as I, as I exhale once I feel how much warmer it is. It even smells like Finn. Which shouldn't surprise me, but it still makes me feel... strange. What about you? Put hands in pockets. Give him a compliment. Yeah? And what's it smell like? Uh... I guess like you? <laughs> it's hard to describe. You saying I smell good? Uh, um... I wish you would stop teasing me before I say something that I regret. Stop getting so nervous around me, or I'll start thinking you like me. I'm not nervous. Good. Jeez. An excited shout from Paxton draws our attention. We hurriedly return from the roof with Finn leading the way. In a way, I'm glad for I'm glad for it. I don't want him to know it's how cozy I feel in this jacket. What's he shouting about then? Whoa, there's a bunch of books hidden here in the sofa. Huh, <laughs> gross. Hold on, I'll take some pictures. Oh, uh that plank you put on your tri tripod oh, looks like it's sagging. Well thanks, that could have been bad. Here we go. Perfect. At least we found something. What did you look in the sofa? Why did you look in the sofa anyway? Uh, ran out of options. I would love, a, I would love some soap and the sink now, though. Yeah, I think we're done here. Let's go. Yep, let's pack it up. Right behind you. Alex. Yes? Tomorrow after class. Can you go on a walk with me? Please? Oh, sure. 
He's really trying with us. I'm not sure why Finn asked me to walk with him. He looks so serious. I wish you knew what to say. This crush is getting out of control. Finn, are you alright? Not really. What's wrong? Eh, this is awkward, but... You no, know, I care about you, right? And I care about you. What's this about? I, uh... I feel like we're going to keep doing all of this dangerous stuff together. That I should be upfront about something. Axon and Xenia already know, but... Uh, are you sick? My stomach flips. I wasn't expecting this at all. But if Finn wants to open up to me, I'll never complain about it. A bit. Is it okay if I tell you something... heavy? If you want- yeah. I was thinking if you need to, but that's not good for this one. He gives a faint smile at my response and gently lifts the side of my, side of my lips with a teasing finger. Don't frown too much, it makes it harder. I'm just trying to take you seriously. He chuckles at that. I know. Thank you. Ben finally gets serious again and takes a deep breath before starting. Before I came here, I wasn't in a good place mentally. I was lost, depressed, and suicidal. My boyfriend of many years and I broke up right before I moved here on top of that. I'm sorry, Finn. And the thing is, I still am all of those things. I manage a lot better these days, but that, as that's all it is, managing. He pauses after his confession. I can see in his eyes that, he, that his thoughts on the matter are bittersweet. They see something that I can't. But he doesn't linger. Finn looks directly at me. Maybe even through me. And I know that he sees everything as if now in the present. I'm here for you, Finn. I know you are. And that makes, means the world to me because I like you. Well, what? I mean, I like you too. Where is this coming from? For a moment now, I thought you were saying something else. As more than a friend. And I'm happy that I can like you. I was so insecure that part of me was broken. My brain feels like it's short circuiting. I'm so thrown off that. I'm so thrown off. I'm so thrown that the first thing out of my mouth is a diversion from admitting that a confession even happens. Wow, was your ex a good person? Well, what? He shakes his head at that, at that and gives a self decrepting laugh that breaks my heart. No, it wasn't like that. I was a very bad place at the time, my ex couldn't deal with it. It wasn't his fault. No, I never want to drag someone down with me. Especially someone I cared about. But... He left for his own sanity, which was for the best. I never blame him for leaving, no matter how much it hurt me. Um... Will you come in? Oh, yes. I know I should say something about his confession, but my heart is pounding so much that I can't think clearly. He just told me something so personal, and then told me he likes me. What am I supposed to do with here? <laughs> say it back. What? Shit. Eh. When we enter, there's some sort of animal darting around Finn's room. What is that? Ah, close the door, will you? It's alright. I do as he says, but is, why is he so calm? He runs to the kitchen and returns with a carrot, which doesn't make the situation any less bizarre. Come here, Cerberus. Ah, you made a mess. The venom animal more leaps in the fence, ouch, outstretched arms. And it's the most adorable rabbit I've ever seen. Right, got, um... Achievement, meeting Cerberus. I stare at in awe at the purring bunny that was so clearly no that so clearly knows Finn. It looks like him too. I can't believe that it has built-in eyeliner. You have a pet bunny? Huh? No, I uh, I mean Cerberus. Cerberus from Fluffykins <laughs> must have escaped. He's not really a pet. Sure. Cerberus von the Fluffinkins. Finn definitely named it, and it's definitely his. I'm just... he just... I saved him, nursing him back to health. 
Looks pretty healthy to me. But I'm just making sure. It's not a big deal. He's not... Anyway, Alex. You'll keep this a secret, right? Right. They charge you for keeping animals here. Of course I will. Thank you. Finn continues feeding Cerberus, the softest expression. I've, ne I've, I've seen on him in a long time. Cerberus looks so comfortable in his arms. He's sincere when he wants to be. His actions tell me how he feels all the time now and I think about it. Finn's been honest with me and I should do the same. Finn, I like you too. I guess we didn't know the other felt. How do you ever felt after all? Ben looks at me in shock, and it takes me regret not saying anything. Cerberus jumps out of his arms, the movement, se the movement seeming to bring him back to his senses. You do? I'm sorry I didn't say, say so earlier. I think I liked you for a while, and I uh, honestly really like to learn more about you. Oh. Uh, so what now? <laughs> hmm. How about you stay tonight? What? Uh, I mean, just to talk. You're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Why disappointed? You're teasing. You're teasing me when I'm being serious. What? I can't tease my future girlfriend. Girlfriend. Finn's teasing smirk just disappears as he leans closer, looking at me with a completely earnest expression. Alex. He gently takes my hand in his and lifts them up to his cheeks. You're burning up, Finn. I just wanted you to know how serious I am right now. Even though I'm always teasing you and messing with you. Will you go out on me? You can say no, of course, but... I'd prefer it if you didn't. I know I'm far from perfect, but I'd really like you to try with you. When I look back into Finn's eyes, I can see that I'm smiling. It's like they're the ocean waters themselves and reflecting the calm back into my heart. It's a calm that makes it, makes it as easy as breathing to respond when my throat was bobbling away on its ocean waves. How can I possibly say no? <laughs> After playing with Cerberus for a while, we ended up in his in his bed without talking about anything specific. The weather, classes, our adventures, our adventures, all of those things that seemed so ordinary now feel so pre precious. I think this all started because I wanted to escape my parents to do something new. Finn, are you awake? I guess not. Good night. I don't really know if this is all too sudden or fleeting, but I like Finn. It's nice to feel wanted, to have fun, to have friends, to have a boyfriend. Maybe my parents wouldn't approve of a trespassing vampire boyfriend, but I don't care. Do I? Lex. Finn? Alex. He's sleep talking. Good night, Finn. Good night, Cerberus, fun fluffykins. Sure. With that, I feel myself drifting off. My hand warms and fins. I've never felt so relaxed and so happy. Next play the next place we go to is a bit more dangerous. The abandoned sanatorium looks like it will collapse at any moment, and we're walking slowly up the stairs. But Alright, I'm done. I can't. <laughs> Accident? I mean, you you all can keep going if you want. If anything happens, it'd be good to have someone stand by, right? You can count on me. If you say so. If something looks dangerous, you can definitely give your opinion, you know. Yeah, yeah sorry. It's alright. We'll see you soon, Paxton. Stay safe. Yell if you, sn yell if you need us. Or maybe not. I'm scared it will collapse the whole place. <laughs> Not helping. Let's keep moving. What, so are both of them staying? The next flight of stairs is worse than the last. Every plank looks unstable. Like the air itself weighs too much and creaks before we can even walk. 
No, no, she came with us. I think this is where I stopped too. I can't risk any more or my camera. Are you sure? There's not much left staying here. The top looks so promising. You're always excited about this. He never looks worried about the danger. After knowing his history, it's a bit more concerning. Of course I am. Don't drag Alex into your nonsense. Come on guys, let's stop here. No way. It's okay, I'll look after him. Alex. Ugh, fine, if you insist. If you two lovebirds die, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> the lovebirds? doesn't respond, simply rolls her eyes and waves us off. Are we really that obvious? See ya. I'm trying to copy Finn's steps as much as I can. Skip that plank, carefully, uh, carefully and gentle. Ah, Alex. What happened? Finn wishes to catch me right after a step gives under. Ow. Alex, Alex, are you okay? He sits me down part way up the stairs, and I realise I can't breathe. I can't even speak. It's okay, just relax, I'm here. Finn pats my head affectionately, letting his fingers thread through my hair until I finally feel my lungs working again. That scared me. I know. He gently pulls me pulls my leg on top of his, inspecting it. Ow. You scraped your leg. I don't feel so good. That he must die? Nah, of course not. What are broken fingers doing this stuff? A scrape is nothing. You're lucky. Broken fingers? Sure, but I've broken more than that outside of venturing. When I was at the height of my depression, I'm sure I broke my arm, my leg. I failed a lot, so nothing quite was was quite enough to kill me. What? What is he saying to me right now, and so casually? It's like he doesn't even care about his suicide attempts. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Yes. Is it working? No, Finn. It's not working. You're doing an awful job. Huh. I'm sorry. And he's just laughing it off. Let's go back down. I think that's enough for tonight. Yeah, I think so. We retrace our steps and meet Xenia and Paxin back on the first floor. No one's very infused when they see me limping. Alex, what happened? You're bleeding. Finn. Uh-oh. Xenia looks pretty mad. She's alright. It's just a scrape. Yeah. I'm all I'm alright, it just stings a bit. That's not the point. Exactly, Finn. You're the one with experience. This is your fault. I told you not to keep going, and look what happened. We need to go and treat that to make sure you don't get infected, Alex. Oh. Yes, we should. Right, let's go. We don't have to talk about this. They were pretty harsh. They're right, you know. I don't know what to say here. It's not really his fault that we tripped, though. So you got the most of the blame, Finn. It really wasn't your fault. It was. No, I decided to go with you, remember? You didn't force me. Finn? Let's just go. Ah, oh, that's hurt him quite bad. It's an awkward time back. I get patched up by Xania and offer to walk Finn back to his dorm, but he denies me. No matter what I do, Finn doesn't talk to me. With a hurt leg, I go back to my dorm to sleep. It's not supposed to be a long walk, but each step is more painful than the last. Scratchy... Echoes suggest something else's staggering footsteps are behind me. Even though I know I'm alone, there's only my shadow, limping behind me like a hun uh, hunting monster under the glowing street lamps on a grey sky. Alright guys, before we continue on, we're going to be ending the stream here, and we're going to have a quick break, because my eyes are starting to hurt. I'll be doing some more today, if potentially can. If not, it'll be doing tomorrow. So if you guys enjoyed this little bit, hopefully leave a like on it, it really helps me out. That being said though, take care guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.